you never have anything positive to say about a Republican. And I went on that PD, PBD uh, podcast. They're like, have you ever voted for Republican? I said, I, I may have on a local level. I, I don't really remember ever doing that, but it's not inconceivable because sometimes Republicans will run unopposed. Why uh, would you vote for up, a Republican? Upstate. When I lived upstate, I, I, it's not inconceivable that there's like, you know, back in the day, you know, things weren't so nationalized, but probably I've never have. And I certainly don't think I've ever said anything positive about a Republican before. It's possible, but I'm going to do that right now. Whoa. Yep. Breaking There's news. a dude in Montana. He is Montana State Senator Daniel Zolnikov. Um, they're talking about uh, a zoning issue. And he's addressing the question uh, that building new housing is going to affect the neighborhoods and the character of these neighborhoods adversely. Hmm. People want uh, their elbow room, I guess, even though they don't necessarily own the property. And he wants to revise the municipal uh, zoning to allow multifamily and mixed use development in uh, presumably um, in Helena. Uh, Montana and uh, maybe it's not in Helena maybe I'm not exactly sure where it would be but somewhere in Montana I, I just I ran into something that a Republican said that I liked and want to uh, play it and give a congratulations and imagine if he's going to go anywhere in his politics he's probably going to have to change parties the housing prices are going up because there's so little supply so people say this could affect a neighborhood honestly I don't care because people are living in campers in Bozeman in 30 degree or negative 20 degree weather. We've seen that picture. I know um, Henry uh, has shown that before. Um, people are trying to squeeze three kids into one bedroom to make their two bedroom work. That's happening. Um, and also what comes from this? Oh, people can't even afford to pay for anything. The car breaks down, they can't pay for that. So they go in more debt. They have a larger issues. It just compounds. So yeah, I'm sorry if uh, we build a little bit and it, it has an impact on on someone's perfect neighborhood because people are not even able to survive right now. So I guess my sympathies are quite low. No argument there. Now, someone just reminded me on the IM that Kowalski ran as a Republican. Mm. So that, those two Republicans there I can appreciate. Go. I don't know the rest of this guy's policies. Um, but I imagine if I like them, then he doesn't have much of a future in the uh, Republican Party. Uh, and this type of uh, sympathy he's showing with uh, people who are suffering, that is, um, that could be a liability in the Republican Party. Yeah. I mean, let's, let's be honest. He's, he's going to meet a fork in the road soon. NIMBYism, just a tale as old as time, yep. um, with voters across political spectrums. Um, and it's going to be, mo there's going to be more and more of this as there becomes as the need for affordable housing grows like part of so much of inflation that we talk about a lot of that was rent going up yep. and up and up and property managers squeezing people for everything they can and it's in montana too where there's there's a lot of space in montana one of the least populated uh, states in the in the in the country so i mean this is all over the place and and the, the federal government has to get serious about repealing the fair cloth amendment especially when we have a, a democratic president i know aoc brought it up a few years ago let's begin those that process again federally funded public housing we need to build more of it we haven't in decades it's been banned and that's part of the reason here so kowalski from nebraska that fat orange man was a complete and total disaster for farmers 2016 to 2019 had been the worst years in agriculture since the farm crisis of the late 70s Farmer suicides were at an all-time high. Foreclosures and loss of equity. Corporate farms grew in that time frame as well. Rents went through the roof. Most family farms are highly leveraged. That means that when it comes to inherit things, they're not as valuable as you were uh, you would initially think. Might be a real problem if you're inheriting large sums of money or a valuable asset like a real estate business. In Nebraska, we have an estate tax that's lower than the federal estate tax. It's one of the reasons why our roads and schools are superior to Kansas. Our counties have more money.